IIT Madras is committed to maintain a clean and sustainable campus and we also give lot of importance to protect the biodiversity. To maintain a clean campus, okay, we have a self-help group employed in the campus to clean all the academic buildings, roads and all common places and we also have one ozone team okay, to take care of the cleanliness of the residential zone. The self-help group collect all the waste and okay, we segregate the waste into organic, inorganic, biomedical okay, depending upon the conditions. In a residential zone, the ozone group goes okay, door to door and collect the waste. There we have okay, three categories of waste collected, uh, organic, inorganic and biomedical waste. Biomedical waste is sent to biomedical services or we have an incinerator and organic waste is uh, uh, a part is composted remaining okay, we are sending to our biogas plant and the inorganic waste is segregated into 18 different categories and sold out and we are getting uh, uh, money through that one. And in academic uh, zone what we are doing is each office is having two bins, one for collecting paper and recyclable materials and other one is non-recyclable materials. In the lab okay, we have three bin system, one for recyclable, one for non-recyclable and other for the chemical waste and other biomedical waste okay, which, which uh, comes under either biomedical category or hazardous waste category. And all the hazardous waste generated in the labs uh, including chemical bottles and chemicals and all, we collect it and send it to a hazardous waste management site. We have a storage place and we are following the TNPCB guidelines and we have the consent to operate that one. And all the inorganic waste, okay, recyclable waste, we collect together and the stores and purchase section, uh, uh, tender it out and sell it out and we get the uh, revenue out of that one. When it comes to hostel sector, again the waste is collected as okay, recyclable and organic waste. Okay, lot of organic waste is generated in the uh, food, po uh, food points as well as the uh, messes. So, this waste is mostly uh, uh, biodegraded okay, using okay, biodigester and we are using the biogas generated for making uh, hot water. This hot water is used in the messes okay, for cleaning purposes and other cooking purposes. And inorganic waste and all okay, we are okay, selling after segrega segregating like other zones. And we have okay, separate system for collecting hazardous waste. Uh, uh, like batteries and all, uh, uh, special allocated locations are there, students are coming and depositing it there and in residential zone also we have uh, particular places allocated for that one, the residents comes and deposit there and from there okay, the centrally we collect it and dispose as per the norms. Now coming to uh, the water conservation, we do lot of uh, effort to conserve water because Chennai is a water scarce area. So, entire rainwater we are harvesting and collecting it in a lake and that lake okay, we have put up a water treatment system. The collected rainwater we uh, 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 treat it and blend with the CMW SSB water so that our wa water bill is reduced. And we also have put up a state of the art wastewater, wastewater treatment plant. In our campus we are 100 percent uh, 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 waste water, treated wastewater is recycling. We have dual pipeline system in the entire campus, entire toilets, uh, either it is in residential zone, academic zone or hostel zone uh, are using this treated wastewater. Not only that one, for the air conditioning, cooling water and entire gardening we use that water and remaining treated water we further treat it using filtration and infiltration gallery and send it to the lake. Okay, and the lake water as mentioned earlier, we are treating it and reusing for other purposes. Uh, uh, and we also uh, uh, do uh, periodical checking in all the academic buildings to see whether the space is utilized effectively or not. Okay, if, uh, if some space is not utilized effectively, we request the concerned authorities to look into that one and release that place uh, for other users. And we also collect condemned items and other uh, ele electronic items and other uh, uh, unused items uh, uh, from each department and uh, dispose it 
as per government rules okay tender it and dispose it as per the government rules and another thing we are doing is to empty the space and effect, effect to use the space effectively digitization of all the old documents okay so that is saving lot of space and okay we take the community along with us so that the okay, the belonging feeling is there nss okay, nss team students team and residents are involved in mass cleaning of the campuses and we also have a, uh, 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 a contractor to clean the forest because many times outsiders put the waste into our campus so we do okay periodic uh, periodical cleaning of those waste so that our okay, animals inside the campus is protected okay from plastic waste and all and for the biodiversity okay we take active role okay we have large number of deer black bucks monkeys and many other animals in the campus so to protect the deer uh, uh, and to have enough food for them what we do is we remove the invasive species and uh, plant native fruit bearing uh, trees and okay, many of the prosopis areas we convert it into grassland so that the deer and black bucks will be having enough grass and okay every year we do the animal census so that we know how the ecosystem is growing so and okay accordingly we can make um, uh, changes as and when needed and the institute is having a master plan okay which includes okay, which is inclusive of deer pathways corridors like black buck corridors and all the things so uh, or when we do any construction work or anything all these aspects are taken care and another important thing we do is okay, whenever a building is constructed if you okay cut any tree okay in place of one tree we are uh, planting at least 10 trees and all the retired staff and new faculty members are having their own tree, uh, trees planted in the campus okay and we have a very active environmental management committee okay if okay we do anything okay if the environment is not protected there are many voices from the institute itself to tell us that it is not done properly any anything else you want to add anybody renewable energy yeah yeah three yeah uh, i can start again so and the institute is looking for okay sustainable uh, sustainability everywhere as i mentioned water we have taken and we are having okay renewable energy generation in the campus we have around 3.3 megawatt solar panels in the campus we meet 15 percentage of our electricity through this solar panels not only that one all our light lights we have converted it to led lights so that the power can be uh, saved okay and another initiative iit madras has taken is uh, converting all the individual okay acs to a centralized air conditioning system by doing this one okay we are able to air condition larger area with almost 60 percentage electricity consumption and another important activity we are doing is recycle okay uh, 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 the 3r principle that means recycle reuse and reduce uh, principle for that one we are creating lot of awareness in the campus not only that one we have established collection centers in academic zone residential zone and hostel zone where students okay faculty staff or residents can come and okay deposit their okay usable clothes books test books etc so that this can be given to the needy ones and recently we have also uh, uh, carried out another activity where uh, where the bicycles like left by the students and which is not being used by anybody we collected that those bicycles and sent it to villages where the cycles are given to the needy ones so we are actively involved in the 3r activities also